hello everyone so this particular video that i'm doing is actually to nigerian elected officials i'm talking about governors you know uh, a senate senate president a house of rep mem uh, not house of rep members uh, uh speaker of the house of representative probably deputy governors Anyway, all, all the Nigerian elected officials who, and even the ones that were not elected, who leak their ways into office, that use ambulance, that have this uh, convoy, and they have ambulance. I was at, a, I was at an event, and uh, there was an official coming in, and as he was going, his convoy, he had ambulance. I just want to say, I think you people are ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. Aren't you ashamed that what is barest minimum in other countries is what you people take as something of status? So as a governor, you're traveling and your convoy has ambulance, yet your people do not have ambulance. That doesn't make you feel ashamed of yourself. As a Senate president, you're, you're walking, you're traveling, or you're going somewhere, and a convoy. But your people don't have convoy. You have a convoy with ambulance. But your people don't have ambulance. And yet, that doesn't make you feel ashamed. What we should. In other countries, even if someone is homeless with nothing, if there's an emergency, an ambulance will come for them. Leadership is service. Leadership is about service. To the essence, if you're a leader in a place, you're the last. You stay and allow all the people, your followers, your citizens, whatever you need, to take something before it gets to you. But here, what do we have as selfish rulers, not even leaders, who want to do, I pass my neighbor to their citizens, to the people over whom they have leadership, which they have turned to rulership. You don't need to do, I pass my neighbor when you're a leader. Because by electing you or giving you mandate or whatever, by being, virtue of being in that position, you already pass. And you don't need to show the past. But here, people sit down and want to pack for themselves certain privileges. Empathy would mean that you want for others what you are enjoying. That you want for your people what you are enjoying. And you will work so hard to ensure that your people are getting what you are enjoying. But no. We have people who are just focused on just getting for themselves and their families. You see the security that are following them, and you're wondering, who else is remaining to secure the land? We're always wondering why the lands are not secure. The lands will be secure because the few security agents that we have that are working have been packed, have been annexed by the political class by the ruling class, for themselves and their children. They think when they are safe, that is all. No, they are still not safe. Until every one of us is safe, nobody is safe. Until every one of us is well fed, nobody is well fed. Until every one of us, we have access to good quality health care. Nobody has good quality health care. Until every one of us has access to good quality education, Nobody has good quality education. We are as strong as the weakest link. And our, our living, it's as strong as that of the poor, the way the poorest are living. No matter how much you think you have, or what power you have, or what you can acquire. For example, if I use cars, you will still drive on roads that are dead traps, death traps. Does that make you, is that a life? Ask yourself. 
You see to the extent that these elected officials, these so-called leaders, whatever, ruling class, political class, they think they are doing us, eh? They are also doing themselves. You go into what is called VIP lounge, executive lounge, government lounge, and you go to the restroom. Everything is broken down. You're punishing us. You're also punishing yourself. Imagine if the barest minimum is ambulances that are always everywhere, that people can call. You will upgrade your life. For those people who, own, who occupy these offices in Nigeria, who feel so big that in their, in, in, in their convoy there is an ambulance that is following them, you are living the life that a homeless person in another country can get. And that's what is making you feel proud and feel big and think you're doing something. That's it. What is service? What is it that you cannot give to your people and let them enjoy that thing you're enjoying? You think having 24-7 electricity is a flex? It's not. It's the barest minimum. You've provided it for yourself and you've left your people to be there. You know, struggling. They don't even know when next they will see light. Why? We are as strong as our weakest link. And we are as, ri as rich as our poorest link. As a leader, you should strive for your people to have that thing that you are enjoying, if possible, even more than you are enjoying. People get into office, you have eight years, and yet you waste those years doing what? Looting, oppressing people, doing all sorts of things. When you can be using those years to build up a legacy that hundred years from now, they're going to be looking and asking, who is this person? No, they won't need to ask, because your name will ring. People will talk about you hundred years after you're gone. They will say, ah, if not for this person, this place is, would, be, would it be like this? This is the person who set the foundation for what we have today. But yet, all you're thinking about is now, how much you can get. Even for those who are not thinking how much they can get, what power they can get, what perks they can get, what privileges they can get. Let me tell you, to every elected official that have on their convoy ambulances, yet their people don't have ambulances, shame is ashamed of you. That is barest minimum in other countries. What you're flexing with that makes you think that, yes, you've arrived. You are this big person. You're the, you're the governor. You're the Senate president. Or you are, the, you are a president, even a legitimate one. Or you're the vice president. Or you're the deputy senior president. Or you're the speaker. Deputy speaker. Somebody was proud that he's number six. In a country that it is part of the three major tribes. That he, his number six, is all that mattered to him. And probably he also has ambulance in his convoy. Be ashamed of yourself. An ambulance is the barest minimum. A homeless person in those countries that you visit can easily get an ambulance. So you are equivalent to a homeless person.